Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, I am gonna show you how to set up a sensor that is HP203B. In the previous videos, we have seen working on the different digital sensors. So similarly, we will be proceeding further this momentum and we will be working on new sensor that is HP203B. So for that, first of all, go to the website that is controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. And let's see what we got. So HP203B is a precision barometer and altimeter sensor and these are some of its features as you can see. You can purchase this sensor as you can see on my screen. For today's video tutorial, I am going to interface the sensor HP203B with a particle photon and for that I require particle code. So for that go to resource tab and here comes the particle code sample. You can download the particle code sample as a zip file from here from this very site. And you can also have the privilege to download the code from github.com. You just have to go to control everything community repository there and you can download it. Now what we need is the hardware connections and let's make some connections for that. This here is our sensor that is HP203B digital barometer and altimeter sensor. We are going to be setting up and for that we require a particle photon which you are able to see on my screen. Now the question arises how to make a connection among the sensor, the particle photon and other I2C devices and how to make them a lot easier. So the answer is this I2C sheet. Now this is available on our website controleverything.com and to make the connection gently place the particle photon over the I2C sheet. Now this is a connecting cable. It is the binding factor within to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C devices and also the sheet. So make this connection of the cable and the sensor and while making this connection make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this protocol has to be followed for I2C shield. Now the connection will look like this. Well to power up our particle photon we need a micro USB cable just like this and gently places over the power jack. Now we are done with our completion of the hardware section and the connections part. Let's roll ahead and see what is the code. Now as we seen the connections part for the hardware required for this particular video tutorial. Let's have a look over the particle code we insist and for that github.com is the website. Now here we have to check for the control everything community repository and here we go and this is our required sensor HP203P now this is the particle code we would like to check for before that let's have a look over the particle photon uh, instructions we have to log in to your particle photon and set up the device according to the steps now this is the link which will help us to guide through the steps for the installation now this all here is the information you would like to check and how to install all the steps are being provided clearly you can have a look over this website now we have to download the code go to the online ID and copy the code and build particle link will help us to do that so I will show you how it's done uh, first of all you copy this uh, for example you copy this code and you can save it here like this now verify and flash the code on the particle photon code output will come at the dashboard so this is the link where all the output will come upon and you have to check for that so this is how it will come so now get back to the code uh, we have the particle code as you can see on my screen it's a dot ino extension file uh, first of all in the include we have included two libraries as you can see and define the address of the sensor that is 0x76 some variables we have created similarly in the void setup function also we have initialized i2c communication as master and serial communication uh, with the baud rate equal to 9600 in the void loop function we have the writing command and we have sent osr and channel setting command which writing command is here next we have read uh, want to read some data for that we have selection of the data register that is 0x10 and here we have requested and read 6 bytes of data as you can see here we have converted the data for temperature and pressure which is according to the data sheet of 
HP 203P. Now in the second part, we have sent the OSR and channel setting command and the writing part is here as you can see. In this, we have selected the data register that is 0x31 and we have requested and read 3 bytes of data that is altitude data. The data is being continuously read it and the values are being converted here according to the data sheet. And the very end of our code we had the output on the dashboard and we have formatted it according to the right string. Altitude is in meters, pressure, in Pascal, temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how a code looks like for the sensor. It's a very generalized code as you can see. Now what do we want is to check the working of this particular code with the sensor and for that stick on to the video. Now this is interesting part that is the working part which we are waiting and first of all copy this entire code. It's a bit lengthy but let's see how it works and as we discussed earlier open a build particle. Here we have to create the code. So for that name the code 203b hp 203b and paste the entire code and save the code. It's good to go as you can see. Now verify the code and compile it. It's code verified. Great work. Now we have to flash the code. While flashing the code we have checked for the magenta flash which will indicate that the code is good to go and we can have our output data on the screen. Now it's just flash as you can see the flash is successful here and now we can check the output data on the dashboard. So for that let's go to dashboard link and it opens and here comes the results as you can see. Now the temperature, pressure and altitude is being provided on the screen for you. Now when I apply some pressure over the sensor there will be a change in pressure, temperature and altitude as you can notice. So as you can notice there is a change and when I remove that it will get back to its normal position. Now when I again press there will be a change in pressure, temperature and altitude. So this is how a particle code works for this particular sensor. Now what do we require is to check for the benefits, the features for this particular sensor and how and why we do use the sensor. Let's move forward. We have seen the working of the sensor, the code and a lot more for the sensor HP203B. The HP203B employs a MEMS pressure sensor with an I2C interface to provide accurate temperature, pressure or altitude data. The sensor pressure and temperature outputs are digitized by a high resolution 24-bit ADC. The altitude value is calculated by a specific patented algorithm according to the pressure and temperature data. Now these are the features. Due to this it's viable for a lot of applications like mobile altimeter, barometer, industrial pressure and temperature sensor systems, weather station equipment, indoor navigation and nap assist and a lot more. You can purchase this sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the relevant code by going to the resource tab and then downloading it. Now you can also get the code from the github repository that is control everything community. Now I have shown you the working explanation, hardware connections and a lot in this video tutorial. In case if you have any doubts and queries you can contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on the community page. Now for blogs and articles you can check me on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this go to our YouTube channel. At the very end I hope you found this video useful and yourself a good one. Enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching.